Welcome to DWBIR Da channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. Welcome to the second part of Kubernetes installation. So as we have discussed in the previous video about the part one that was the installation of Kubernetes tools. Now in this video what we will be doing is we will be installing kubeadm and initiating it and also making an AMI image of the instance which is Amazon machine image and using that machine image we will be launching two EC2 instances. So let's carry on. So this is our Kubernetes master node and for creating its image we will click on image and then create image. Here we can specify the volume of image that we want to use so it would be 30 GB and image name could be slave. So let's click on create image. So as you go on AMIs, you can see that the image is being created. So depending upon the size of the master instance, the image creation can take up to two minutes to four minutes. So you have to wait for some time. So friends in the meanwhile we can create the, the token from which we will be able to connect the slave nodes to the master node. So for generating the token in the previous step previous video we have completed till here. Till this command and now we'll initiate the cube ADM. But before that we the AMI should be working properly. Now from here we'll launch the two instances. And T2 micro would be sufficient for that. So here we'll choose two. The default will use the default security group settings. Here we have already saved a key pair, so we'll be using that. So we can check the status of the two new instances being launched in the EC2 instance dashboard. So we'll, we can name them as we want. So we'll be name, naming them slave one and slave two. So let's wait for the instance to get launched. So this command will create the token and by using that token we can easily connect our slave nodes to the master node. The token creation can take up to one minute so you have to be patient for that. Till meanwhile we can connect to our slave node. So 
so we'll ssh into the new slave node which we have created using the image of the master instance we'll simply paste the path of the key pair file which is the pem file and along with that we'll paste the path of the slave instance okay so we have to replace root and type it in ubuntu here so as you can see we have successfully launched we have successfully logged into our slave node now here in the master node We have successfully created the token. Now we'll paste this token here. Now using this token, we will be able to connect the slave node to the master node. So friends, we'll be using this command to make a directory in the master node. So let's copy this command. This command will give the permissions to the home directory. And now using this command, we can check the status of the node. So you, as you can see, there is a master node, which is not ready yet. So we have to wait for some time. So friends, meanwhile, till the pod is getting ready, till the node is getting ready, we'll install the CNI network. In using this command, we'll export the kubectl version. So the master node is not ready yet. So friends, till the master node is getting ready, what we can do is we can connect our slave node to the master node. So for that, we'll log into our slave node and using and we'll use the token generated at the master node. So you will we will be using this command which is the token and paste it in the slave node so as you can see guys we have successfully connected the slave node to the master node We will be using this command to check whether we have got the node or not. So as you can see guys, the master node is ready. 
and we have just added another snape node to this kubernetes structure which was added 20 second, second 27 seconds ago so depending on the size of the node it may take up to one to two minutes for the nodes to get ready So friends, let's check again. So guys, as you can see, the master node is ready and we have successfully created a slave node using the image of the master. And now we have also connected successfully this slave node to this Kubernetes structure. So friends, that was all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss the further topics. Thank you.